So in Jackson section 1.7, he has a check of the of a solution of the Laplace equation, and he checked that by taking direct derivatives. And the derivation is quite long, so I'll do it here. So the solution is uh, for the electric potential of phi that uh, at x is given by the derivative four pi epsilon, one over four pi epsilon zero in integrate over the is a charge density x pi x pi is the integration uh, variable so dq x pi and divided by x x minus x pi okay so uh, this supposedly should be a solution of the Laplace equation. So Laplace in phi should equals to minus rho over epsilon zero. So um, to check whether this is true, you, so you can take the Laplace in of this one and accept that uh, there's a subtlety because uh, near x equals to x pi, the integram is singular. So uh, the, when you take spatial derivative over a singular point, that's uh, not defined. So um, it's a little complication. So what Jackson did is uh, doing it in a limiting process. So basically saying that uh, he defined a a, a phi a, so you basically say phi equals to limit of a goes to zero phi a, where phi sub a is given by exactly the same thing, except that uh, Integram is adding a small positive constant. So you have x minus x pi square plus a square. Okay. So without this a square, if a square is zero, this one exactly this one. So uh, so when you take the limit a goes to zero, the phi sub a go back to uh, goes back to phi. So. Uh, what you want to do is uh, say um, whether the limit of whether limit a goes to zero, Laplacian of phi a goes to rho over epsilon, minus rho over epsilon zero. Okay, try to show that instead. Now uh, this phi sub a is well defined because of this a square is never singular the integram so when you take the derivative of this one is well defined and um, then uh, you try to see when after you take the limit a goes to zero then you recover uh, the right hand side okay so what you need to do now is take a direct derivative of this Laplace and phi sub a now to do that uh, uh, this Laplacian phi sub a is uh, because uh, the only x dependence is just here is uh, inside the integram. So you can put the uh, Laplacian inside the integram. So you have rho, uh, let's see, rho x pi and dq x pi, just the passing of this factor. x minus x pi square plus uh, a square. Okay, so that's what you try to do. And to do that, uh, this Laplacian would be easier to do it in uh, when you redefine your variable. So you define a 
uh, new variable r equals to the distance x minus x pi. Okay, so basically you are setting the x pi as your coordinate and you define the spherical coordinate with the spherical, uh, the radial position given by this r. Okay, and then this, this uh, Laplacian can be then the, use the formula of Laplacian in spherical coordinate and simplify the derivative. So that means uh, now this is equals to uh, same thing. Now uh, uh, you can, for the formula, you can look up the math handbook or any other the table. So the formula is one of R square partial partial R and then R square partial partial R times this uh, operate on this function now becomes one of R square plus A square and square root. Okay. And now this derivative is uh, straightforward so uh, let's uh, let's just work, work out this derivative so just uh, without writing too many lines so just work this derivative separately so let's work it here so this would be one of our square partial partial r so the first derivative is uh, just take a derivative of this one so you have uh, minus one half, minus one half, and then this factor becomes three half uh, squared plus a squared, three half, and then multiply the derivative over r squared plus a squared, and which is a uh, two r. So you have a uh, and you everything multiply by r squared, so you have r squared here times two r. Okay, so that would be the first derivative. So you, you see that two cancel of two, so you have uh, r squared only r, r cube in the uh, numerator. Okay, so now continue and. Uh, so that equals to one of r square. Now you take the another derivative. Another derivative is uh, now instead of minus one half, you have minus three half. So you have minus three half. But minus cancel if the minus become positive. So so you have three. And you're taking the derivative of the denominator first. So you have r cube. Uh, in the numerator, but then when you take the r square here, so you have two r, and the two cancel with the two in the denominator of when you, when you get the three half factor. So, so that uh, multiplied by another r. So r all together. Let's, I can save some writing here. All together is r to the fourth. Okay, so three times r to the four, and then this one will be r square plus a square, five half. And the next one is taken derivative over the numerator, so it's minus uh, your r cube, so it's minus three r square, r square plus a square, three half. Okay, so uh, now you have one of r square in here, so you cancel two of these. So this becomes one, this becomes r square. But the denominator, uh, they are not the same. So if you, you go for a common denominator, which is, uh, again, right, like r square plus a square, five half. So, and you have both have a factor of three out, so you have three. And so you have, this is 
only r square left, so you have r square here, and minus this one has a cancel with the r square. You have just one, so you multiply by r square minus plus a square, so it become minus r square minus a square. Okay, so it's uh, all together. It's just minus three a square because this cancel with that. Okay, so all together is this one, so equals to three minus three, four pi epsilon zero, rho x pi, and time a square, so a square is coming out of the integration. Okay, and divided by this factor r square plus a square, five half. Okay, now, uh, so there's a, a square, now you remember, after you take the derivative, after take the Laplacian, you take the a goes to zero limit. So there's a square in the factor in front. You might think that the whole thing goes to zero, but it's not true because there's a a square in here in the uh, denominator. So the integral will have a contribution near r goes to zero, so near the origin, and the con contribution will be uh, from a region where the R is close to A, so it has a sphere of R close to A, because in that, uh, over this sphere, the volume is proportional to A cubed, and there's extra A square factor, and then there's A squared to the five half, so, so you have A fifth in the denominator, so every, all the A cancel will give you a finite, uh, finite contribution near the R equals zero location but of course this row uh, depends on x also depends on x pi but uh, the, the in order to get which of that you can say that uh, this is uh, uh, you can do an argument like that so this uh, row x pi will be equals to row x plus uh, the uh, you do the, the tail expansion or plus x pi minus a x dot into gradient of rho. Okay, and remember this r is defined as the, the distance between x and x pi. So, so r is small now, uh, when r equals to a, when a goes to zero, so this one doesn't depend on x prime, so that can take out from the, from the integral, integram. So this one has an extra factor x minus x prime here, so that will give you extra a factor in front. So after all the can cause, uh, consideration, the numerator will be a to the sixth power, the, denominated by a, a to the fifth power. So this second term will, will uh, contribute to zero. Okay, only the first term contribute. So, um, so Jackson actually has a, a slightly more general argument, but the, the basically the argument is like that. So only the first term, which is uh, independent of x prime will contribute to a finite, uh, and finite, uh, value to the integram, to the integral. So, so all together you can say that this is approximately given by uh, minus three a square. So four pi epsilon zero. And you take the row out, row x, and do the integration of uh, of this, uh, this one is uh, just basically just dq x pi. Uh, 
put r square plus a square five here. Okay, and uh, of course uh, you need to consider the limit of this one. So the argument goes like that: uh, only the finite contribution is is a sphere near the r equals to zero, the origin. Okay, of the integration, and then the as long as you integrate some to a distance much greater than a, that's all the consideration. So uh, all the contribution. So you need, you can actually treat it like integrating this over uh, the an infinite space uh, in the out in the out space. So that uh, so this will be equals to minus three a square row x and four pi epsilon zero. So, and when you use the spherical coordinate, you get, uh, because this only depends on the radial distance. So you have uh, the angular uh, dependency, or the integration or the, over the solid angle, it give you four pi, so that will give you four pi. And only the way the equation, your r squared dr from zero to infinity, and then r squared plus a squared to the five half. Okay, so uh, this four pi cancels with this four pi, and now this integral, uh, just this integral. You can uh, do that uh, in uh, using a transformation or a change of variable. So, to, yeah. so you need to a change of variable like r equals to a tangent theta. So then uh, this integrating zero to r goes to infinity means theta goes to pi for two. Okay. And then you have uh, a squ r square is a square tangent square theta, and dr will give you a second square theta d theta, and the denominator will have a uh, eight fifth factor in front. And the rest is one plus tangent square tangent square theta five half power. Okay, and uh, now this uh, again now doing some uh, some trigonometry. So first uh, the all the a factor you have. 3a factor in the numerator, 5 in the denominator, so it's 1 of a square here. And so integrate from c of 2 pi for 2. Okay, so, so second square theta times uh, sine square theta, so all together you have sine square theta in the, in the numerator, but then uh, cosine to the fourth in the cosine to the fourth theta in the denominator, okay? And then tangent square theta plus one, so you have, a, it's basically one of a cosine square, uh, cosine square in the this factor and then Take the five fifth factor, so if that becomes uh, one of a cosine to the fourth, a uh, fifth power theta. Okay, so you cancel four of them, so you still have a cosine theta uh, in front, so that equals to one of a square, zero to the pi of a two sine square theta and d and a cosine theta in the front which is which means just a d cosine d sine theta okay and integrate 
fade from zero to pi over two. So that is a, a simple one because uh, uh, at uh, fate equal pi over two, sine fate equals to one. So this is like uh, integrating x squared. So this is x q over three. Okay, so it's just given by one over three a squared. Okay, so this is one over three a squared. So four pi cancel minus three a squared rho x right by epsilon zero one over three a squared. So cancel of the a, three a squared is equals to minus rho x over epsilon zero. Okay, so you see that divergence of phi a is given by this one. Of course, uh, they all the all the high order term we set uh, is uh, higher order than a, so order of a at least at least a, a factor a more. So as a goes to zero, so so finally you just argue that uh, Laplacian phi equals to limit of a goes to zero Laplacian phi sub a. So when you take the limit a equals to zero, the other terms go to zero. So that equals to minus rho x over epsilon zero. So that would be the what the intention just to start with to show that it satisfied this Laplace equation. And so that's the this uh, derivation to show that. Okay, so that's all for this discussion.